AAA has called it the 100 deadliest days, the time between Memorial Day and Labor Day when fatal crashes, especially among teen drivers, spikes. 94% of all crashes are related to driver behaviors. Some of the top risky driver behaviors that contribute to these fatalities are not wearing your seatbelt, impairment, speeding, drowsiness, distraction. We try and create thoughtful customer features that can really help with safer driving on the road. When you look at all the fatalities in vehicle, half of those fatalities, people are not wearing their seatbelts. Teens self-report always wearing their seatbelt only 59% of the time. We've recently introduced an industry-first buckle-to-drive system with our teen driver feature. If I'm to put my foot on the brake and not have your seatbelts on and try and shift, the shifter is actually locked because, again, we know that wearing your seatbelt is the number one thing you can do to protect yourself in a crash. Rapid technological innovation in the auto industry toward driverless cars means that little advancements in letting the car do the thinking for you might make a dent in the crash statistics, especially in moments of distraction. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is a nonprofit funded by auto insurers that conducts research and creates consumer safety ratings for vehicles. We've crash tested cars for a long time, um, trying to protect occupants in the event of a crash. And over the last five or ten years, um, some of that focus has shifted on trying to keep drivers and cars out of crashes altogether. So we're starting to see vehicles equipped with camera, with radar systems, um, ultrasonic sensors, technology that's able to detect if a, a crash is imminent. So this is a, a Hyundai Tucson um, that has uh, autonomous emergency braking. There's a camera mounted behind the windshield. There's also a radar unit mounted on the front of the vehicle down here behind the grill. We're gonna to drive towards this target. You're gonna hear the warning and then I'm gonna um, sort of ignore the warning and it's gonna automatically apply the brakes. And you can see we avoided a collision with the, the vehicle. This is a Subaru Forester. Its front crash prevention is called EyeSight, and so it uses two stereo cameras that are mounted behind the windshield, and they're able to see uh, other vehicles uh, as well as pedestrians to warn a driver uh, and then potentially automatically apply the brakes to either mitigate or avoid a crash. So this one has, you know, similar, it gives a warning in the display driver doesn't respond, it will automatically apply the brakes. Front crash prevention systems, which include automatic emergency braking, um, are reducing front to rear police reported crashes by about 50%. Right now, um, a lot of that technology is optional equipment, but we are seeing more manufacturers installing that as standard equipment. And in fact, um, the Insurance Institute, along with the government, as well as manufacturers, um, had a voluntary agreement uh, that by 2022, the manufacturers would make front crash prevention systems standard on all of their models. Despite all the advancements in technology, there's only so much a car can do for the driver. And sometimes, impairment or drowsiness just means it's time to get off the road. Some of our, our work at Chevy is to, to help you stay safe. But other times, it's just to educate our customers and really get the message out that drowsy driving is dangerous. To mimic the, the effects of drowsy driving, we created a suit. This suit is 23 pounds to slow your reaction time. So when you're drowsy, you're going to have a slowed reaction time. Right now, all we've done is, is slowed you down. Now we're going to impair your decision making. And the, or mimic the effects of that. So these goggles are going to come over your shoulder. Okay, so this is closing once every four oh seconds. Gosh. <laughs> For one second. 16 to 23 percent of fatal crashes are due to drowsy driving. It, yes, we can put the features in, but in the end, a lot of what we want to do is just look at our customers and say, if you need to get off the road and sleep, please do it. We know that you're, you are going to take these road trips. We want you to arrive safely. Go visit grandma in the summer or go to the beach and really to just have a safe vacation and have fun. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. 
subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.